Hello guys, welcome to another craft session with Sue. Alrighty, so what I'm going to show you how to make today is a tea, etched tea light holder. Um, these have actually been uh, coloured to represent the snowflakes. Um, this is going to be part of my Christmas range. So um, without further ado, I will show you how to make these. Okay. So first of all, you're going to need obviously your armor etching cream. Um, this is extremely dangerous. Children should not be left to do these. Um, it, it does say on the bottle, ages 18 and over. It's extremely dangerous stuff. Um, do not ingest or inhale. Um, immediate action if contact occurs. So, I mean, you've got to be careful you don't get this on your hands. It will burn. It's an acid, basically, that um, etches into the glass. Obviously, you need a nice little brush to apply. I use a little plant pot here just so I can have this upside down so I don't have to make any contact with the cream once it's on the, on the tea light. Obviously, a blank tea light. These are pre cut stencils. Um, as far as making something like this, I'm not really that confident in doing. So, um, you can purchase various different items that come on a card. And that's your stencil. And then, a little pair of pointy pointy tweezers just so that you can adjust when you're applying and a stick for stirring your um, your cream but that's already been stirred because I've already made one this morning so um, I'm going to pop you on time lapse because it does take a wee bit of time to do all this and um, show you the process Okay, so now I've um, applied the stencils, um, I'm just going to do one final run to make sure that there are no air bubbles around the edges, that it's not overlapping anything, that it's all nice and secure, that the etching cream is not going to bleed and cause... Um, cause the the, um, the pattern to be distorted. I just need to keep this side up because it slightly overlaps um, part of the one snowflake there. So once you're happy, you get your cream. As I said, safety is a must. So you must, 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 must be careful. Um, I've used this cream a lot making um, etched products so I'm quite used to how, um, how to keep myself safe so, but please follow the guidelines if you decide to take this up <clears throat> follow the guidelines as to how to use it um, now you have to put a very generous coating making sure that all the glass is covered it's got to be quite thick don't rub at this point So all you're doing is getting coverage to make sure that your stencils are completely covered in cream.
If your room hasn't got very much ventilation, I would suggest that you do this where there is ventilation because this stuff smells not very pleasant. Um, I suppose the only thing I can um, compare it with is like acidic -y babies nappies or diapers when they've had a really strong wee and it's quite disgusting but it's a chemical chemical baby wee if that makes sense it's really hard to explain but it's not pleasant so make sure you're all covered and you work your way around Now you do have time constraints on this. You have probably one minute to have this on the on the product on the grass on the glass. Alrighty, so I'm well and truly covered. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to transfer to my little plant pot so I can manoeuvre this without getting my hands too clear, you know, too um, covered. So scrape off the excess off your brush. Replace the lid to avoid spillages. So I'm just going to wait a few seconds. Just to, um, sorry, I was nosing out the window, <laughs> seeing what a neighbour was doing. Um, so basically, then I will take. So I just dab my brush on there and clear it away. So now I'm going to go around and scrubby scrubby where I've put the product and then just patch it down and cover it up again. So you go in there, scrub scrub. and then pat it down again. The scrubbing is making sure that the um, the stuff is still making contact with the glass itself. See, it's all tucked away underneath there. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the video because I need to go to um, uh, the sink. My craft room is actually upstairs, so I'm just going to go to the bathroom sink and um, I need to start swilling this off. So I will stop the camera here and take you with me. Won't be a sec. Okay, so I'm back again now. I'm just going to clean off this brush. Yeah, I know I'm using my hands, but it's underwater. Okay, so the brush is now clean. So I'm now going to take my tea light and I'm just going to Scrub off or you know start removing the excess. Because what I don't want to do is just have like loads of that um, cream on the tea light. 
which I'm going to be removing with my hands shortly. So, I mean, you could wear gloves, probably would be safer. Um, but I'm running underwater, so um, I should be okay. Alrighty. So what we do then is just. A good rub, making sure all the cream is off. And when you've done that, you can take off your stencils. Oops, without losing them down there, down the plug hole. You can rewash those in a second. Then what I do is I actually get some hand soap and I just wash with some general hands, uh, you know, liquid hand soap. Basically that's just to get off any excess cream and it gets it off my hands if there's any on there. And it stabilises the etch in itself. So that's nice. I can see the etching on there. It's done really well. So all I need to do now is dry this and take you through back through to the craft room. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay. So as you can see, this one has um, a blue blue on the etching itself, and this one is quite plain. Now you can either keep it as a plain etching. Or you can colour it, but um, how you do that is up to you. I'm going to use my secret ingredient. So basically, I just get the get the ingredient. <laughs> Can't give all my trade secrets away. Pop it on there and give it a light polish, and there we have our first one done. Uh, and yeah, I do get a blue finger with this. This is basically just a um, a colour that um, I had laying around the house. So. So the polishing is just to get off the excess. I mean, I've got a million and one old towels, so. And then I finish off by putting my sticker on the bottom. I need to wash my hands, but there we are. So there we have our completed tea light to which you pop in your candle it's quite hard to see really with the, the design on there but you can see the snowflakes quite nicely already so these I will be selling as a pair so um, if you see them on the Etsy shop please purchase if you like them um, if it shows that they're out of stock, contact me and I will make some for you. So um, don't think that because they're not in the shop that they're not available. Most things I put in my shop are available unless it says limited edition, which means it's only limited to one. These I can make again. So if you want these and they're not in the shop, please contact me and I will um, make them up for you. So um, yeah, so these are your finished snowflake tea light holders all ready for your Christmas table or your mantelpiece for um, part of your Christmas decorations. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment and share 
and uh, most importantly please support the channel give us a subscribe hit the little bell icon to um, so that you get more notifications when we put other videos up we do more than just craft it's um, walking adventures fossil preparation um, history walks all sorts of things we're a multi multi subject channel we're not um, just sticking to one thing so come along give us some support and um, you know you never know you might be able to get yourself involved in one of our uh, on one of our giveaways so thank you again and we'll see you next time